Hello G Nation, I'm your host G, and we're gonna do that basic preview for Rhea Ripley, This Is My Brutality. Before we get started, if you're not already a sub on my channel, make sure to do so as well as clicking that notification bell so you do get those notifications when I post new content. If you do like the video, leave a like as well. Alright, so she is gonna be 4 star bronze. This is my own, it was not sent to me. I purchased this one on the store with the startup pack maxed it out at four star bronze to do this preview for you we're going to use only basic stuff that most free to play should have we do have the belt on which is the belt you get just from the talent up itself it adds up uh, 20 percent all gem damage but i'm not unlocking the extra slots and i'm not putting in any plate either we're just keeping it basic now the first moveset we'll have a look at is a 4 star moveset, it is the delayed vertical suplex, 7 MP purple move, deal 33.1k damage and choose a 3x2 area to swap into black gems, the electric chair phase buster, 6 MP purple move, deal 35.2k damage and make 4 random black gems into multiply gems of strength 3, and the short arm clothesline dropkick combo. 7 MP black move deal 39.3k damage and gain 5 purple MP. As far as trainers go, there's a ton of options. Again, I'm going to try to keep this as basic as possible. Uh, we're going to use bright just so that we're, our black move is ready. And we're going to use this dude love here, which add 35% to black gem damage. Don't really care that he makes one more black because I'm not making any black. Uh, not using any coach other options you could have you could start with woods instead of uh, starting with a uh, bright uh, you could start with no mp trainer for example if you do have the perks like i do right now uh, if you have the perks you start with three you get the one on your extra turn when you you get two for her from her monthly buffs you also get uh if you have for example uh a maxed out Santa Ogan like I do you get plus one like if I if I have uh, Santa Ogan as a coach I don't need any MP trainer and all three moves are ready on the first turn uh, if you don't they're not so that's why I'm not using it like I'm actually short one MP I start with six MP if I don't have any MP coach if I put Santa I start with seven so that's why we're putting a uh, braid there other options then dude love you could put uh matt rd so that your uh, multiply gem are of strength two extra you could put sinka sinka is usually who i put when i don't use an mp trainer uh, the downside is that a lot of time it's not going to be that useful because it really depends on how much uh, how many blacks you got on your board because uh, he increase it from four to eight but if you only add five or six not that big of a deal uh, you could go with double plus extra black damage. For example, Volkov also adds black damage. Uh, there's also uh, King Nakamura that adds 2200. Uh, actually, I'm at 2200. I think Nakamura would be better than uh, Dude Love. Let me change that. Because at this rarity, her gems don't do that much damage. So Nakamura is going to be a better option. There you go. Switch this to Nakamura. And we're not going to put any coaches. So let's do this. Right. Updated the art with Nakamura instead. So our base blacks right now are doing 9600. So as you can see, we only have five blacks right now. So even if I was making eight, not that big of a deal. Okay. Now we're gonna be getting some purples. Fortunately, I didn't convert the one I needed here. We 
you're still gonna match with two three if you count the one that doesn't have a, a multiplier on and we got purples at the same time and that is more than enough i managed to clear the the uh, not the mlc but the faction tour which i think the last opponent was like 14 or 17k and i managed to do it with her at 10k without any props and any revive either now keep in mind though she does have a lot of buffs right now let me show you those before we try another spec now the buffs that she do have right now a move that generate black will create three more in this case it doesn't change anything all current moves start with two more mp that's very practical multiply gems generated from moves will increase their strength by two very useful and black gems do 50 percent more damage also pretty damn useful for her all right let's look at another move set all right second move set for Rhea ripley this is going to be the Riptide 10 MP Black Move. Finisher deals 64.7k damage and swap a 5x2 Red Maria into Red Gem. The Full Nelson Slam 8 MP Red Move deals 38.4k damage and makes 7 random gems into Black Gems. And the Release Flapjack 8 MP Red Move deals 41k damage and choose 4 gems to make into Multiply Gems of Strength 3. This is a 3 star moveset. At two star, you don't really need a move set. I mean, at two star, you just like ruffle stomp over them, whatever you use. Trainers, we're gonna use for that Butch, so that we start with more red, and Sinka, so that we're choosing more of those multiply gems since the uh, Full Nelson Slam is a random. You can't really place them in place where sure they're gonna break, but it's nice to make an extra amount just so we can. Hopefully have more match. Uh, if you don't have Sinkara, you could use Matt Hardy to have those multiply be of higher strength. Otherwise, you could uh, use also uh, Titus O'Neil to make more blacks to have more chance of them matching. Or you can go with uh, like uh, Shinsuke Nakamura or uh, uh, Dude Love and Volkov that boost all the... Uh, Black damage as well. Those are all options if you don't have Simka. Uh, coaches, again, I use something that boosts your black damage or boosts in the amount of blacks you make or boosts your multiply gems. Let's do this. Okay, so. We're gonna pick where we put the blacks. Now, unfortunately, we only have three blacks to begin with, which is definitely not a lot. But we're gonna put some around those and close to the middle. Hopefully something's gonna match to this. Or not. Definitely we're not lucky with this. And now we're gonna swap the 5x2 random Maria into red, which may land off some of those remaining 5x. Or not. But regardless, with both moves not working whatsoever, how I wish they would. That was still an easy turn to win. So at 3 star, that's going to be more than enough. It still works really well. Obviously, I do like the first move set, which is the 4 star move set, much more. Just because you got a little more control over what's going to be happening where. But uh, yeah, overall, pretty damn strong character. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. If you're not already a sub, make sure to do so to be kept aware when I post new stuff. Have any question about my content leave it in comment and if you like the video leave a like and share see you guys Ciao.
Tchau.